UCLA, UCLA is lined up for the opening kickoff. So here we go. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Minnesota's a team and a program that year in, year out, has got 1,000-yard rushers. Sometimes they've got two, and they've got that huge offensive line. And, you know, you get too worried about them, and sometimes you can overlook the fact that you them. It's going to be tough today for this defense. I think they're going to have to take some chances and load this line of scrimmage. And, you know, as a play caller for this offense, when you have such a gifted running back, it opens up every aspect of the offense. I mean, the play-action pass with this running game, you get those linebackers and safeties coming up close to the line of scrimmage. It's a great time to really open up and, and show what you can do as a complete offense. It'll be a challenge. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. Tackle around the 28-yard line. It's third down and seven to go. Ball on the 28. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. Slings it. They'll bring him down at the 39. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back to pass. Red to go! Got it and brought down immediately. That's good for a gain of four yards. That makes it second and six. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball on the 43. Go four! And down he goes at the 41. Two yard loss for the halfback. He steps up, zips it to the tight end, and he tackles him hard at the 50. From midfield, it's first down. Makes it out to about the 39. This is the kind of steady, strong drive the coaches love to see. Right now, they're firing on all cylinders. This is the eighth play of this drive. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. It's second down, six to go. Ball on the 36-yard line. Go! Flips it, middle to the running back. Tackle made at about the 33-yard line. And this is the 10th play of the drive. hit immediately. Well, he caught it, but it's almost no yards gain, and now it's fourth down. Give props to the D here for coming up with a big stop on third down. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. Here we go, here we go, here we go. He fights forward to about the 30. Not quite enough for the first. Looks like they'll turn it over on down. You know what? I think they still made the right call there. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. When you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Blue 19. So the stop there on third and long, and that's going to bring up a punting situation. The defense held their ground on that play. The quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers.
He puts it away, and it's a great kick. And he's taken down at the 36-yard line. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. Brought down at the 44. Eight yards on the counter there. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. the middle for a nice game. That's a game of seven on the play. First down. Larry, Larry. Key it up. 35's the mic. Dog four. Blue four. Deep pass to the end zone. Got it. Touchdown, Golden Gophers. And he converts the extra point. So a short three-play, 64-yard drive. And they come away with seven points. So our score, 7-0. They line up to kick this one away. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Level at the 36. That makes it first and ten. Well, the question now is, how will they respond after losing a couple on that run? That brings up second and thirteen. So it's second and thirteen. Ball on the 33-yard line. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Five wide. And he's tackled at the 47-yard line. Here's a running play. And they make the stop around the 43-yard line. That'll make it second and inches. He might have a chance. And he's tackled after positive yardage. There are three quarters remaining. Minnesota's lead is a touchdown. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He scrambled. And he's taken down around the 23-yard line. Tackled at the 13 yard line. And he is drilled at the 10 yard line. Gets out to about the nine yard line. That brings up second and nine. They come out in a five wide set. He's taken down at the seven. Gain of two yards. That makes it third and seven. Mike one, Mike one. Set, Bruce. 
They'll make the sack. Boy, Brad, that was a big hit on the quarterback. It'll be interesting to see how he responds from this hit and whether or not he comes after his offensive lineman and challenges them to start playing a little bit better. Fourth down. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. Kicks up, and it's good. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Minnesota holds a four-point lead. And he's immediately tackled. Kirk, he's really got a lot of confidence in his receiver. Yeah, I think he does, but in this case, I think he just threw it up for grabs. He thinks his receiver can make the catch no matter how many guys are hanging on his back. It's first and ten. Ball on the 40-yard line. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That's a game four. That makes it second and six. tell you right now this guy is arguably one of the fastest players in college football today there you see him turn it upfield with such fluidity and quickness first down 10 yards to go ball on the 48 yard line and he stopped behind the line one yard loss for the halfback In the gun, empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. He's brought down in the open field. He's going to try to cough and corner this one. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Now he tries to buy some time. Quarterback picked up a yard at best there on the scramble. I feel the corner position is really one of the hardest to play. So when I see a young player like this make a play like that, whew, it's impressive. Now he's scrambling. He's out to the 30. Tackle right around the 36-yard line. And he's tackled right away. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. And the defense is on it. And that one's recovered by the cornerback. Funny, because you usually don't see corners down there picking up loose balls. They're more worried about interceptions. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Minnesota is up four. He makes the catch and has a first down. First and ten, ball on the 45. 
red, two, motion. X7. Check motion, 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 motion. He gets out to about the 37-yard line. A nice job by the offensive line, and they pick up a gain of eight. Golden Gophers will use their first time out of the half. Go. Here we go, here we go. Gets it out quick, and it's going the other way. Spectacular play there by the linebacker to come away with that interception. I don't even think the quarterback saw him on that play. He was right there waiting for the ball. From their own 33-yard line, first down. Zips it to the back. They'll bring him down at about the 49. Here's a screen pass, gets it to the back. And they push him out at the 32. I'm really liking what I see from this guy. He's not afraid to go to the air on any down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 32. quickly and he's got his man and down he goes right around the 24 yard line you can tell he's got a lot of faith in his wide receivers even when he's a little bit off target they can pull it in and make something happen pulls it in and stops in his tracks with that tackle He did not get to the first down marker. You've got to admire the intensity that these linebackers bring to the table. As soon as he saw it was staying on the ground, he made a beeline for the ball carrier. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Oh, set. Blue 19. Blue 19. Blue 19. Cut. Check, check, H. Bruin, H. Bruin. Watch down, and he's going to get sacked. And they lose possession on down. You know, that was one of those situations where you have to go for it to try to get something going. Now they need a big play here from their defense. I can't argue the play call. The defense just did their job by standing their ground. The quarterback comes back on the field, and I'm sure he's hoping to make up for that interception on the last drive. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Oh, Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. He's going left. Big catch there as they knock him out of bounds. First down. So with the half ending, they're just going to try to put three points up on the board. Minnesota is up by four. Kicks away, and he missed it to the right. Low scoring first half of play, but a close game. Minnesota leads it 7-3. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Both teams wanted to establish a running game. Both teams were stubborn in trying to do so, and neither team was successful. Did you get the sense the defense knew what was coming? 
Hey, dude, first and 10 means run. Yeah, I think, I think when you do it every single time, it doesn't really uh, make it hard for a defense to figure out. You can become much more aggressive. you got to take some chances. I, you want to stick with the run. You want to have that balance. But if you don't push the ball down the field, then I never have to honor it. So mix in some first down passes and runs. Looking forward to seeing this second half. I think there's certainly a want for victory. A want and a need for victory. Some teams need this victory, Reese Davis. Want, need, got to go get it either way. Brad and Kirk are there to deliver. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Golden Gophers continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. And he tackles them hard at the 33. Gets to about the 34-yard line. About a yard there on the quarterback keeper. Third down. Big opening. Tackle made around the 42-yard line. taken down for a loss. How about the play of this defensive end? This is just solid run defense here. They get a great push up front, not allowing the runner to have much room to work with. And at the end, they're able to wrap him up. From their own 40-yard line, second down. Straight ahead on the give, and there's nowhere to run. He's really quick with his lateral movements, especially for a guy this big. He got to the ball carrier before he could get out of the backfield. Well, the big man here isn't used to making catches as a defensive lineman. But I'll tell you, he was still pretty athletic just to get his hands on it. Oh, excellent punt. He's taken down at the 32-yard line. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Minnesota holds a four-point lead. There are a lot of players in the college game that can make something happen when the blocking breaks down. But when it's that bad, I don't care who you are, you're going down for a loss. Second and 14. Ball on the 28-yard line. Scrambling around. Brought down at the 38-yard line. That's a deal of 10 over the head. That makes it 33. Did you see how much space there was for that tailback up front? He better be thanking his offensive lineman for that. First and 10, ball on the 50. Makes it out to about the 40. That was a great call. Yeah, here you see the draw play at its best. The tailback got good blocking up front and was able to pick up a bunch of yards. They go to the back, and he's hit immediately in the backfield. That makes it second and ten. Second down and ten to go. Ball on the 40. Mike 35, Mike 35. Red, red. Number 15, intended to see the play. That brings us third and ten. 
Minnesota is up four. And he's level at the 49. and long here after the sack. It's away and it's a booming punt. So this one goes into the end zone and that'll be a touchback. I think this defense has played well enough to be able to win this game, obviously. But at some point, you'd love to see their own offense feed off of some of the confidence that their defense is playing with because up to this point, the defense is keeping them in the game, but the offense isn't quite doing enough to be able to build on that lead. Quick shot to the open receiver, and he can't hang on to the ball. That would have been pretty remarkable if he'd managed to hold on to the ball after taking a shot like that. That makes it second and 10. From their own 20-yard line, second down. He's on the run, slides down. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. The defense has everybody on the line. I think they're going to come after this one. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. He makes it out to midfield. Not a bad return. They're ready to begin another drive. Minnesota is up by four. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. And a six-yard pickup by the halfback on the delay. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. And they make the stop right around the 32-yard line. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 32-yard line. Taken down around the 32-yard line. Throws left. The running back's got it. He steps out at the 26. That's a game of six on the play. Third down. Both offenses still try to find a way to open things up. The end of three quarters. The Golden Gophers lead it by four. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. look back on this game when it's all over and say that's the point where they won the football game with that stop. It's fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. Minnesota holds a four-point lead. Kicks up, and he nails the long field goal. Kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. 
And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. He's to the 40. He's tackled at the 43-yard line. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. That'll make it second and seven. Crosses out to the tailback on the screen, and he's taken down at midfield. Throws it in a hurry, and he's tackled at the 36 yard line. Quarterback in the gun with five receivers. That'll bring up second and eleven. Blue fourteen. Blue fourteen. Texas. He's going to try and scramble. They bring the quarterback down. Boy, this defense really came to play today. Well, they said before the game that they wanted to put a lot of pressure on this quarterback. They sure stuck to that plan. Biggest third down and long of the football game right here in the fourth quarter. So, so Mike's number one, Mike's number one. Three. Set. Cut. Got a man, watch out here. Inside the 10. Tackle at about the five yard line. Nice job by the offense to get the final few yards to the end zone. Yeah, they knew what play to call for in that situation and made it work. The extra point to tie this game up. He splits the uprights with the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. Let's see what they can do on offense as they take possession after the return. There's a lot of time left, and I think the important thing for this offense is to get their momentum back and move the ball down the field. You've got to be aware that capitalizing on this drive is crucial. You want to take the pressure off you and put it on your opponent. Any offense is predicated on being able to move efficiently like this. That makes it second and six. From their own 29-yard line, it's second down. Just under three to go in regulation. Steps out of bounds at the 35. He made a good read here to find his teammate. That's sound decision-making. He's on the run. They'll bring him down at about the 47-yard line. First and 10, ball on the 47-yard line. Red, two, green, Quick throw, and down he goes around the 26-yard line.
from the 26 yard line. First down. Red two. Blue 20. Motion, motion. No. And he is drilled at the 19 yard line. That's a game of seven on the play. That'll bring up second and three. Feeds it to the back. He makes his way out to about the nine. So here's where we find out who wants it more. First and goal. Touchdown, Golden Gophers. Minnesota and staff, they've got to love the fact that they've got this kid in this situation week in and week out. Yeah, I mean, they know that when the chips are on the table, they've got to find a way to be able to get him his touches, and this time he steps up in a big way for the touchdown. He makes the PAT. It looks like they're ready for the kick. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. UCLA's ranking, that doesn't mean anything right now. Now, they've not played up to their expectations at all, but they have the football here late in the game. They're very fortunate to still have a chance to maybe win it because they've not looked like themselves. Even in a game this close, I think it's going to take something very unexpected to change the outcome, but that doesn't mean it won't happen. A little toss across the middle, and he hits him hard at the 35-yard line. UCLA is going to use their first time out of the half here. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Under a minute left in the game. They'll make the sack. UCLA will take their second time out of the half. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. Tackle made at the 32. Dumps it out left to the running back. He's pushed out of bounds right around the 36-yard line. From their own 36-yard line. First down. He guns it to the right. Picked off, and that'll seal it up. He steps up and makes a big turnover. Yeah, he just made a huge play right there. He knew what was coming all along. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. Takes a knee. The Bruins, they're going to have to call their third and final timeout. Larry, Larry, Larry. 35 the mic. Four, he takes a knee, looking three, to take some time off that clock. And the ball game's over. The Golden Gophers get the win, 17-10. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.